three points are located at the vertices of an equilateral triangle whose side equals a they all start moving simultaneously with a constant velocity v with the first point heading continually for the second like this second point continually for the third like this and third point is continually following the first how soon will the points converge so by symmetry as you can just imagine in your head as the particles are following each other they are going to rotate in this manner and still due to the symmetry their positions relative positions will still hold in a equilateral triangle so by symmetry three points always form the vertices of an equilateral triangle of decreasing side length and eventually they will meet at the original original centroid so as the distance between them decreases by symmetry they will meet at the center so any at any time in between the convergence and the initial position they are still located at the vertices vertex of a smaller equilateral triangle so considering any arbitrary equilateral triangle during the motion let's say this so velocity of approach between two points a and b so let's take any two points a and b their velocity of approach is minus dx by dt so if x is the length between them the length is decreasing with time so to make the term positive we put a minus here is equal to v plus v cos pi by 3 this is the velocity of approach v plus v cos pi by 3 so minus dx will take dt there and integrate so x initially the dist uh, the distance between any two particles was a and eventually it's zero so let me just write it as a a to zero and time taken is from 0 to t this is what we will need to find so at what time the distance between them reduces to 0 so integrating this we will get time as 2l by 3v which is our answer